Corruption is one of the issues that we, we wrestle with every year uh, and how to present it in the report because there's a lot of work done on uh, the perception of corruption but it's much more hard to get uh, tangible evidence of how do you actually benchmark it for each of the individual uh, countries and we work hard together with our partners on making sure that our assessments are as uh, rigorous as, as possible. Progress report in the package, um, tool number one. Tool number two, um, a subset of that is the rule of law dialogue that we're now launching this year. And tool number three, which uh, I think is important to, um, to stress in this context, is our assistance. Um, the, the Commission does have um, quite substantial funds available for each of these countries and a significant part of that is devoted um, both at the individual country level but also at the regional programme. So, without further ado, that gives a sketch of why we think this is the First finding is that for the population of these countries, corruption represents the third uh, important, most important topic to address. Uh, after unemployment, after poverty, and before uh, many other topics, that, uh, like crime, security, uh, education, and other things, and also given the story, recent history of the countries of the region are also more important, much more important than the relationship between ethnic groups. From the experience of the population, especially in terms of what uh, in their dealings with the public sector, with the public administration, with civil servants. And one of the first indicators we look at is uh, uh, the prevalence, so-called prevalence of crime. So, which means what is the share of the population who had to pay uh, a bribe, at least one bribe, over the last 12 months. It's, uh, uh, as you can see, it's 12.5%, which represents one, one out of eight people, had directly personally to pay uh, at least uh, a bribe in 12 months. 